welcome and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here to another episode of Roots of Pacha where we've got more mining to do guys we have reached the crystal caverns and we are going through this owl puzzle and then we have a monkey puzzle to do afterwards but for the moment we're going to go ahead and unload a ridiculous amount of silver. And we have some good gemstones, too. We were a hoarding amethyst. I'm not sure what for. We'll go ahead and sell the sapphires and the paradox for right now. Um, but yeah, we've got some good stuff coming. We got some more vinegar here, which we're going to throw on another one of these butternut squash and then let's go befriend the baby okay and this baby is working on things so this guy cookie can actually go as well and that'll give us two spots. Yeah, it cuts down on our horn production just a bit, but that's okay. We have a shaggy guanaco that needs to be dealt with. We have a goat that needs to be milked. And we have a couple of chickens here that we need to befriend. And then in this barn... We can milk a goat. And we can collect some poops. Let's grab not sage, grab our milk, and off we will go. We'll go ahead, we'll get the pump started. And if you all will bear with me for just a minute, I'll get this taken care of. Okay, we are back. We are in the house. We are making some cheese. And we are making some wool. And... Actually, we're gonna sell some of this wool, I think. Yes, we need more wool for more extenders to our farm. But right now, what we really need is some money. So we're going to make some mayonnaise. And we're going to make some wools. Um, we're also going to run over and check if we have any honey. I don't know that we get honey in the winter. Our bees still appear to be producing. Just very, very slowly. But we need some money. So, cheese, wools, more of this good stuff. We're going to sell some of these better kohlrabi. Um, some feathers and things. And yeah. And then we'll make some mayonnaise and sell that too. Because we do really want to get to making some of this stuff. Do we have tomatoes? We do not. We juiced all of the tomatoes, it looks like. Yeah, we have juiced all of our tomatoes. Okay. Well, that's okay. We're going to throw in the wild stuff. We're going to throw these in to get processed at some point. And we're going to sell some pickles and some mayonnaise. And we'll hold on to the sweet peas because they're not worth a whole lot. Um, we are going to have to spend a little bit of money. Because we need some more crops. If I was younger, I think I'd ride an Ibex. That's fair. Okay. 
So, we do know that these take a little bit longer. So we're going to get some of these and get them planted. Um, kohlrabi is almost done. And we don't have to worry about these two right now as much. Uh, oats are getting there as well, but they need a little bit more work. Winter peas regrow. Hopefully we have enough of those. Um, we'll buy some oat seeds as well. Okay. So, we'll get a little bit more broccoli and a little bit more oats planted. And then at that point, those should be good. This is actually coming along fairly nicely. I gotta say. And some oats. And that should be it, I think. Yeah, that's it for right now. But we have another 25 oat seeds we can put down. So that works. So, things that need to happen today. Let's see. It is Brub's birthday, so we want to give him something. Garrick does need one more gift. I figure we go and give him a Jasper and have a talk with him. And that may actually finish him off. We'll have to see. We'll grab just one Jasper. And we'll deal with that. Now, Aloe is done for the week except for talking. Took is done. Croc is not done. And Croc is here. So we will go and talk to him as well. So, let's start by finding Mr. Garrick, who is probably up at his spot by the river up here that he hangs out in in winter. Let's see. Well, I don't see him. The smart thing to do would probably be to just check. Where is Garrick? Garrick is in the main tent. Uh, okay. Well, I feel dumb now, but that's fine. Once we've reached full friendship with him, that should make our lives a little bit easier. Then we can start working on other people. Fascinating, thank you. I taught the wolves to yawn on command. I thought it was a useless trick, but Jelrod usually stops ranting about himself if he thinks the wolves are bored. Oh. Well, that's harsh, my dude. I like to catch snowflakes on my tongue still. I know it's childish. Eh, childish things keep us happy, though. Okay. So Garrick is all good. We don't have to continue working as hard at friendship with him, which is awesome. We do need more money. We might do some fishing at some point. Just to get the cash that we so desperately need for our barns. Is Brub over here? Yeah, I don't know why I even bothered to check. Let's go and find Croc first. Then we'll go find Brub. Because it is his birthday. We want to be respectful of that. Oh, they're all out here. Well, that works. Hi, Croc. Snow looks a little like falling stars, especially at night. This is true. This is great, thanks. Rob, do you like cheese? You remembered my birthday, thank you. I studied the spirits with our shaper for a short time, but I kept getting distracted by the physical realm. We could just buy grapes.
But that seems a little over the top. I don't think we need to do that. Soon we'll be done with the three members of the Yukuans that are here. We're more than halfway done with them now. So that's a little exciting. And then we got a new option. Choose your totem. Well, of course I'm going to go for owl if I'm choosing my totem. Let's go through Owl's Cave. To which we have opened most of the doors. I hope. I hope. I'm not sure, but I hope. We are going to smash some of these gemstones. Because, like, barrel we need. We do need the silver and the gold as well. We could probably just sell a whole bunch of ores. Is that Sardius? That's Sardius. Hold on. That appears to be Sardius. Ah, uh, it's Agate. Oh well. My bad. It was up over this way somewhere. Aha! Well, we'll get some more Agate and sell it. That's fine. And gold we're going to need. For sure. More agate. Tin. Which we'll need to upgrade our tools a bit more. I don't know that we're going to need it to upgrade any buildings. I don't think so. I think we're almost done upgrading buildings. But we will need it to upgrade tools. Okay. Go up through this cavern. Which opens up this one. A little bit of silver, a little bit of gold. I'm all for that. All this tin. Gotta love the tin. Choose your totem. I wish we could choose bear as our totem, honestly. Bear is fantastic. But owl is very useful. So I'm okay that owl is the totem that we've chosen here. More silver. More tin. Finally a piece of sardius. That's more barrel. We need that too for one of our charms. We don't need to worry about food. We will tomorrow probably. We're getting a little low. I see that Jasper. I know we don't need it for Garrick anymore. But we are going to need it. Oh, there's two crystals that open in this room. Okay. Well, that's all right. Let's forge straight ahead for now. Let's get this agate. Because it sells. And we'll get that amethyst because that sells. And let's just check. These sell for 30 each. 40 for the gold. Every gemstone is 60. 10 is only 25. But just selling gemstones will make us some good cash. Okay. You want to talk to me? How did you get over there? I'm not entirely sure. Are you trying to get out of chores? What? I love chores. So we have to go around. Okay. That's okay. We can go around. Ooh, I get it. Money! I love money! Okay. Darkened pathway. We can't go down that way. Let's open this up. 
Well, I can't go that way. Well, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, we can't go that way. We may have to wait until the rocks do spawn from in front of the stairs there. Let's just double check that we do have to go around. And that this isn't a secret owl spot. No. Okay. That's okay. We'll go do some of the monkey quests then. We'll have to go do some of the monkey quests, I should say. That's more barrel. We need that. We're hoarding barrel and sardius until we've upgraded those two. Then we'll work on upgrading other totems. Or other charms. I should say charms, they're not totems. What we're trying to do is totems. Okay. So we've done owl stuff. For the moment. Let's see about monkey stuff. Though we don't have a ton of time, but that's okay. Yes, I know it's getting late. And we're frozen. Come on. These caverns really are very pretty. I love that that works. It almost always gets the door open. I love that. So very much. Ah, it has failed us. Hmm. I have a feeling about this tin. Nope. Ah. None of it opened the door, but that's okay. It's okay. So now we're looping around Monkey's side. And we'll get it all taken care of. 228,000 prosperity. To which we contributed 2,236. That fur helped a lot. Let's give her a save. We're up almost to 9k. We need 12. So much money. And Ron has a new idea for the ages. So that should be interesting. It's almost Grandpa's birthday as well. So that's fantastic. But those things are going to have to wait for the saving of the game and the ending of the day. We have come to the end of the episode. If you like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.